If x to the power of 6 minus x cubed equals 56, then what is the value of x? Let's solve it step by step together. First, we will write this equation as follows. x to the power of 6 minus x cubed minus 56 is equal to 0. Now we write x to the power of 6 as power of 3. So it becomes x to the power of 3 times 2 minus x to the power of 3 minus 56 is equal to 0. According to the rules of exponent, a to the power of m times n is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So we can write this equation as x to the power of 3 to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 3 minus 56 is equal to 0. Alright, let's assume x to the power of 3 is equal to y. So we can write this expression as y is squared minus y minus 56 is equal to 0. Now we slightly change the form of the equation and write it as y is squared minus 8y plus 7y minus 56 is equal to 0. Okay, we simplify this equation as follows. Instead of the expression y is squared minus 8y, we write y times y minus 8. And instead of the expression 7y minus 56, we write 7 times y minus 8 which equals 0. Now we factor out y minus 8. And this equation simplifies to y plus 7 times y minus 8 is equal to 0. Alright, we have two expressions that must equal 0. First, we set y plus 7 equal to 0, which gives y equals negative 7. Then, we set y minus 8 equal to 0, which gives y equals 8. Now, according to our assumption, x cubed is equal to y. So instead of this expression, we can write x cubed equals negative 7. And finally, x equals the cube root of negative 7. Also, instead of this expression, we can write x cubed equals 8. In this case, x equals the cube root of 8. Alright, now let's check whether the solutions we found are correct or not. First, we check the cube root of negative 7. The original equation in the question was x to the power of 6 minus x to the power of 3 equals 56. Now we substitute x with the cube root of negative 7. So we get the cube root of negative 7 to the power of 6 minus the cube root of negative 7 to the power of 3 equals 56. Now this expression simplifies to negative 7 squared minus negative 7 equals 56. And it further simplifies to 49 plus 7 which equals 56. That's great. We have proved that the first solution we found was completely correct. Now let's check the second solution. We substitute the cube root of 8 for x in the original equation. So this expression becomes the cube root of 8 to the power of 6 minus the cube root of 8 to the power of 3 equals 56. This equation simplifies to 8 squared minus 8 which equals 56. And it further simplifies to 64 minus 8 which is equal to 56. Therefore, the second solution we found for this equation was also correct. If this video was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and leave a comment. And to see more math videos, subscribe to the channel.